Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. So today is the first vlog of 2022. So Happy New Year to you all. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and New Year and yes we're into 2022 already and this is my first proper sewing vlog of the year and hopefully there'll be many more. So today's vlog I'm going to chat to you about scuba and particularly how many dresses I can make in one day. How many do you think that will be? Yeah, I made five. Now, I have had a bit of a love-hate relationship with scuba and I think it is one of those Marmite fabrics, to be honest, where you either love it or you absolutely hate it. And as I've progressed in my sewing journey over the last eight years, I would say that I have moved away from the very sort of cheap and nasty fabrics. And I'm not saying all cheap fabrics are nasty because that is certainly not the case. You can get some wonderful fabrics very, very inexpensively. Um, but when I was learning to sew back in sort of 2014, 2015, my sole purchasing decision was made on how cheap something was if I'm honest because I was so worried about spending a lot on fabric and then completely messing it up and not ending up with something that was wearable and also something that I would want to wear so I have over the years as, as my skills have progressed and as I've learned to fit my body have progressed into sort of better quality fabrics and I'd still got a number of scubas in my stash. Now scuba is what I'm wearing now. It's a wonderful fabric in the fact that it takes prints so well. So when you look at scuba prints they look amazing. The colours are vivid and it, I, I do think, you know, from a design perspective, the, the prints on scuba look amazing, very much like they do on quilting cottons. And, but scuba, some people think of it as like neoprene, as in what wetsuit material is made of. And it, it, it is sort of part of that family, but it's not neoprene. Neoprene is much heavier and much stronger, but scuba is always polyester based. It doesn't have any natural fiber in it at all and it's got a slight stretch to it well when i say slight stretch probably about 20 percent stretch but it probably will vary between different scubas and it you know it you can treat it as a woven but you can also treat it as a jersey with some jersey patterns as well and i had a number of scubas in my stash i still have a number of scubas in my stash that i have bought when i've been drawn to the print or the design and then it's gone away in my stash thinking what on earth am I going to do with this? Now, I think as I mentioned, if you watched my Vlogmas series over December, I think I mentioned during Vlogmas that I, when I say that I have this love-hate relationship with scuba, I, I know people will say that you can use scuba for any garment that you would want to sew. You know, you can sew tops with it, you can sew little jackets, cardigans, skirts, trousers, and that's true. But a lot of this you know it, it's one thing sewing these things but it's another thing whether you actually want to wear them and as I have progressed in my sewing I also think a lot about what I want to wear and when I'm making things now I'm making things with that in mind not just making thinking can I do this can I make this this garment I'm thinking about how is it going to fit into my life and is it something that I'm going to want to reach for in my wardrobe and that's really important so I'd got these amazing scubas in my stash with amazing prints and looking at them thinking, what am I gonna wear with these? What am I gonna make these into that I am going to want to wear? And I have previously made a fabulous dress that I wore to a birthday party a few years ago and that was made out of scuba and I felt amazing in it because one of the other properties with scuba is it really sucks you in. So, you know, as, a lot of us ladies and men included as well we have lumps and bumps in areas we don't want to show off scuba has this great ability to hold that in place without the need for specialist underwear which is great so especially for me at the minute because i'm carrying extra pounds that i don't really want to be carrying but i'm sure lots of us are straight after christmas so it's good from that perspective as well that it will hide a lot of the features that you perhaps don't want to show off, shall we say. Um, 
but yeah i'd got these scubas in my stash i didn't want to make dresses that i'm only going to wear for special events because particularly over the last couple of years the number of special events that i go to has massively dropped off a cliff and you know i don't want to spend a lot of time making these things if i'm not going to wear them very often it's it's just pointless so as one of my resolutions for 2022 is to reduce my fabric purchasing and make more considered purchases in respect to as i've previously mentioned i will not stop buying lady mcelroy fabrics because i absolutely adore those and i will continue to buy those throughout 2022 but i am going to be really mindful of other fabric purchases and not go mad like i have in the past and it is excuse piper barking in the background martin's gone outside to wash the cars while i'm chatting to you so it is you know it's one of those things where i i have i was very fortunate that my daughter was here last week and helped me sort out a lot of my stash and i really want to reduce some of the stash that i have accumulated over the years and some of that might be de-stashed but some of it i want to use and i was trying to be a little bit canny with this because the scubas are thick fabrics and they take up a lot of space in my stash so my thought process is get those used first and then that will free up a, a, a good area of storage that i can utilize for other fabrics so that i already have not that i'm going to buy and that's been the thought behind what i'm wearing today and what i've been doing over the last couple of days so during vlogmas i made up this pattern which is vogue v8 685 i believe it is now i have made this pattern in the past and this was a pattern you can still buy it so i will link to it down in the description below you can buy it um and i actually got this pattern free with a craftsy class that i accessed a couple of years ago and i originally made this pattern probably about four or five years ago now out of a bonded lace fabric for a christmas night out with work and i've still got that that dress and i do wear it occasionally and it's lovely i made the straight skirt version but i thought you know this would be a great opportunity to make that dress up again but in the flared skirt version particularly at the minute because that's what's really suiting my figure and helping me hide the bits of me that i don't want to show off so i decided leading up to christmas that i would pull out some of the scubas that were taking up all this space in my stash that i've had for so long and i would have a go putting that dress together in the flared skirt version which i did and i wore it to castle howard for their um, Christmas at Narnia event just before Christmas that I went with the lovely Judy and absolutely loved it, loved wearing that dress. I think it really suits my figure and it then gave me the idea that actually I found a pattern that I love that I can wear. I can wear it with tights and boots in the winter with a little cardigan on when it's cold but I can also wear it during the spring months as well because the other thing about scuba with it being polyester based is that it is very warm. So although a lot of the scuba prints i have would be great for sort of summer weddings etc i you know it's it's about if if there's a you know if it's a really hot day scuba is probably not the kind of fabric that i'm going to want to wear because it's just going to make me sweat so i've chosen this pattern then i had the idea of why don't i just batch sew a load of these dresses up which is what i've been doing over the last couple of days and i have made five additional dresses now in a day yeah so literally a couple of days ago i, I pulled five scubas out of my stash i don't know how many scubas i've got left there's probably a few left to be honest but five i thought is a good round number let's start with five and i batch cut this pattern out of all those scubas and then i spent yesterday sewing them all up and i got them all finished so I will start with this one with what I'm wearing and I'm going to show pictures of all of these dresses so, so that you can see them in better detail. This is the second one that I made and I'm sort of cheating a little bit when I say that I sewed all five up yesterday. I actually sewed four up but this one needed hemming so I did four and a bit in a full day. Well a full afternoon actually and that's the other thing with scuba is it you know you can put these things together really quickly. Now this pattern is designed for a jersey fabric and it does actually say for you to insert a zip but I've not inserted a zip into this dress because the, when I'm making it with scuba you know it can just go on over my head. 
I did still keep the back centre back seam all the way down from the neck right down to the hem mainly because it allows for extra shaping and for taking in or letting out that kind of thing and I did do the majority of this dress on my overlocker there was just the odd bits that I needed to do on my sewing machine such as basting the neckband and um, hemming the sleeves I decided to hem the sleeves on my sewing machine rather than my cover stitch machine because the five dresses that I made would have needed all different colour hemming thread and I didn't want to be having to re-thread my cover stitch between each dress because that would have just driven me up the wall. So I decided just for ease that I would hem it on my sewing machine which is what I did and I just did a straight stitch on the shoulder seams but on the actual hem at the bottom of the skirt I did a blind stitch on my sewing machine and it's worked really really well. So I'll show you this one first. So this scuba is a scuba that I got from Fabric Styles about three years ago now and this particular pattern has as I say it has a neckband and all the neckbands have been top stitched down. It's a pale pink colour with these leaves on which is another tropical print I absolutely adore tropical prints I just think they're so lovely and this is a raglan sleeve pattern and the sleeve is actually in two parts but the good thing about this pattern even with it being raglan sleeve is that it is super fitted to your body and you don't end up with lots of wrinkles which sometimes you can get with raglan styles um the sleeve itself does not go all the way to the under the arm side it only attaches so far to the bodice and then you have a binding that attaches to the raw edge of the rest of the bodice underneath it's got three pleats on either side under the main bodice piece and then you have a midriff band which goes all the way round the back here and then you have this yoke detail that I don't know how well you can see in this print but you'll probably see it better in the others. The yoke comes from here from the waist because the midriff, the bottom of the midriff section hits me on my natural waist and then the yoke detail sort of curves around to the side seams and then it curves back up to the centre back. As I mentioned, it's got a full centre back seam and I have done the flared skirt version. And if I stand up on my chair, you will see that I have made this midi length. So hopefully you'll see how midi length that is. There's a foot. <laughs> and I'm super pleased with it. It's literally a pull on dress and it's great. It's, you know, I feel I feel good in it, I feel confident in it, I think it suits my figure and I can, as I say, I can wear this with tights as I'm wearing today with a little cardigan if it's chilly, even though it's not actually that chilly here in the UK at the minute. But um, in summer, in spring and summer, I can obviously just wear this without a cardigan if the weather's warm enough and just with little sandals or even little trainers. Um, you can do a long sleeve version in this pattern as well. It does come with that option, but I decided against that. I did think about it particularly because I thought it would be more suitable for this time of year but then I decided that actually you know if I'm going to want to wear this in spring it just makes it more versatile if I have short sleeves and then just put on a little cardigan so yeah so that's number one this was the first one that I did well actually the second one I did but over the last two days this was the first one I did so the next one I made is this one and this is actually a scuba crepe so it's actually a lightweight scuba and that's the thing with scuba it does come it doesn't come in just one weight there are different weights so you can get a lightweight you can get um what's called like a summer weight scuba or you can get a heavyweight and then they do things like scuba crepes as well which have like a crepe feel because normal scuba is quite soft and silky this one that i'm wearing is soft and silky but this one that i'm about to show you is actually a scuba crepe so it's quite lightweight it's a little bit lighter weight than the one i'm wearing um, and it has that crepe finish to it so this is the next one i made and I really like this print. You can see the midriff sections a little bit better on this on this version and the bust pleats that come in just there um, and how the yoke sort of curves around and then the back it has, which I forgot to mention, it has a couple of back darts as well in the bodice, centre back seam. As I say, the original pattern does tell you to put a zip in 
you don't need it with these fabrics because it will just you know pull on over your head so this is the next one i made exactly the same as the one i'm wearing and um yeah i cut this out the night before yesterday and then spent the entire day yesterday well the entire afternoon because i didn't actually start sewing these while just while just gone lunch time and i finished about eight o'clock last night and then the hem at the bottom if i can just show you the hem is a blind hem which hopefully you can only just see those stitches and the other thing about scuba is pressing obviously it's polyester i used a high heat of my iron but i didn't put any um water in it i didn't use any steam on this at all but and it has pressed quite nicely so obviously finished all the edges just with my overlocker as you can see and uh yeah that's scuba dress number two so actually out of all the ones i made this was my least favorite print and it looks really nice on as you'll see in some of the photographs so that's dress number two dress number three this one is a very heavyweight scuba and this was actually one of my favourite prints. And when I mentioned about the prints where they look very sort of wedding-y, this, this, this reminds me of that. It's, it's, it's like a print that you would probably want to wear to you know a really special event or a special function. But this is a really heavyweight plain scuba. Um, and by plain, I mean that it's not got any crepe texture to it and again it's exactly the same version of this dress but it's used up another scuba from my stash now i love this one i think the print is gorgeous and it is one of my favorite prints out of all the suit scubas that i own um i think you know the floral design is really lovely it's really summery the problem with this dress is the weight of the scuba as i said it is really heavy and as you'll probably see from the pictures in with the this version of the skirt on it doesn't hang very well it doesn't drape very well because even though i've done a blind hem on this because i've now got two layers of this thick scuba at the hem here it it doesn't drape very well and i think the finish of this is not it's not how i would want it to be it probably shows better in the photographs that you'll see in the pictures that i'll insert here but i do think it doesn't quite work with it being a flared skirt in this weight of scuba so i think what i'm probably going to do is i'm going to unpick the hem on this version and i think i'm either going to um i'm either going to try and just have it as a raw hem because one of the other positives of scuba is that it doesn't fray so if you, you have a rotary cutter you can literally cut the hem very neatly with a rotary cutter and then it, you don't need to hem it at all and you have that really crisp finish i think if i keep this as a flared skirt i'm gonna have to do that with this one otherwise i will try and get the straight skirt out of the skirt panel pieces and i will refashion this as the straight version i think that would probably work better for the heavyweight scuba so but i do love the print i think this print is really pretty that's my number three so moving on to dress number four you all know those of you that have been following me for some time know how much i love flamingos i have a real thing about flamingos and Having said that, there aren't many flamingo fabrics I have seen that I really like. Um, some of them I think can be a little bit cheesy or just not my taste. But yeah, I've got a couple of scubas with flamingos on that I just think are amazing. Now this one is one of the fabrics that I've had in my stash for ages and I couldn't see myself wearing it because it was one of those that I thought, oh, I must have that because it's got flamingos on when I bought it. And then... It's been in my stash for about three years because I kept looking at it thinking, what am I going to make with that? How, where and how am I going to wear this? And I just decided to go for it. I need to get these fabrics made up. So I made this dress up in this print and I love it actually. When I put this on, I think it looks great made up. So here it is. So this is a another sort of um just plain scuba it's got no crepe in it at all but it's much more lightweight than the one i've previously just shown you and it's exactly the same style i have done the same style for all these dresses and um yeah the hem on this is 
done with a blind stitch now this dress this dress i only had two meters of this fabric and considering that i'm five foot ten and i have to lengthen all patterns generally to fit me i was a bit nervous that i wasn't going to be able to get the to get this dress out of two meters because on top of that obviously with this particular print it's directional obviously so that was a little bit of um it was a little bit tight i will say there were virtually no scraps left and it did mean that i had to just put on a plain white neckband for this because i didn't have enough left to do the neckband but i think that looks okay and this neckband is actually one of the other scubas not the heavyweight one but it's one of the others turned the wrong way round that's all i did to create this neckband and i think it works fine um it also meant that I couldn't make this quite as long as the others and it means I've got a, a narrower hem but it, it still works absolutely fine but you know I absolutely love it I think it's amazing and it looks great on and again this is a really sort of spring summery print I totally get that I think for this time of year it's not really going to work but again hopefully you'll see by the pictures I'll insert just how nice this looks on so that's my number four and then finally this is probably my favourite to be honest because this print was originally a print that Wattle and Slate who are a, they have a Facebook group and they also have a website but they do custom prints and pre-order fabrics so every so often they will release a round of different prints and they basically you can order them on various different bases and they go off to the printers and usually about two months later you get your fabric and this was one of their prints a, a while ago last year and i've got this print on a few different bases including some athletic wear fabric and also like a brushed a brushed canvas fabric as well for bag making and then I noticed that the lovely Sean had got this fabric from Fabric Styles. The Fabric Styles must have got hold of the print and printed it on Scuba. And while I was planning these dresses, I thought, I don't really want to be buying more fabric, but I really love this print so much. I'm going to get a couple of metres of it and make this dress up in this as well. So this is the dress here. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, again, I only bought two metres of this. And initially I thought this wasn't a directional print, but actually it is, because if you look at these leaves here, these big leaves, they do actually only go in sort of one direction. I think you'll probably see it on the back as well if I show you that there. So when the fabric is is laid out on my cutting table, it was very obvious it was directional. But having said that, when it's made up in a dress like this, I don't think it matters too much. But I had two metres of fabric for this and even though it was directional, I still managed to get get the whole dress, including the neckband, out of this fabric. So again, I'll insert some pictures and um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I think this is probably my favourite because this print is just glorious, absolutely glorious. And now I just need a little green cardigan to go with it. But um, yeah, really, really happy with that one. So all in all i got five of these dresses made up yesterday so the way i did it was i approached it by having everything cut out and then everything labeled so i i created basically a little post-it note so i had a pile of front skirts with a little post-it note on that said front a pile of the front bodice you know of all the different fabrics again with a little post-it note on and then I just worked through methodically and I didn't sort of make up one dress at a time I did I did everything in batches so I put the sleeves together in batches on every fabric then I did the the pleats in the front bodice on every fabric and that's how I that's how I did it and it took me eight hours to get four full dresses plus this dress I'm wearing hemmed and I will say that yeah it's a great way of you know getting through things quickly but I, did I enjoy it no I'm really happy that I've got the resulting five dresses because I've got some great dresses now that I can wear out of fabrics that have been stuck in my stash for so long that I just didn't know what I was going to do with and I've finally got them made up into something that I love wearing so from that aspect I'm really pleased but I don't like batch sewing I found it like a conveyor belt I found it you know mind numbing I found it, it just totally 
I think I think it really made me realize just how much I enjoy the process of sewing so you know when you've you've got something cut out and you're starting to sew and you can see it all coming together and then you're anticipating the finished outfit or garment or whatever and how it's going to fit you and how it's going to look and that's what keeps you going it certainly does with me and doing it this way I didn't enjoy the process and I think it as I say it's made me realize that for me the process of sewing and constructing something is just as much fun as having the final final thing um so I don't think it's something that I would do again I mean at the end of the day I'm sure some of you will probably be asking why have you made five dresses all in the same pattern and I think it's because going back to something I said at the beginning of this vlog is that I do still have this love-hate relationship with scuba and I don't think it's a fabric that I am going to be buying moving forward unless I see it in a fabulous print like this dress but otherwise I don't think it's a fabric that I will probably reach for and I, I wanted to use up the scubas that I have because them sitting in my stash doing nothing is is just wasted money isn't it at the end of the day and having found a pattern that I love, that I know fits me and that I know I will wear because of how it fits and how it looks, etc., and how it will fit into my lifestyle, then that's a good thing for me. That means that, you know, I've made these up and I'm going to be able to wear them. I know that you can use scuba for all sorts of different garments, but I would never wear a scuba cardigan. I would never wear a scuba made jacket or a pair of trousers made out of scuba it's just not it that 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 kind of wearing that kind of garment made from scuba is not to my taste and and that's just a personal thing but so having found something that I know that I can wear means that the scubas I've got in my stash I can just continue to make up in this dress and they will get worn and I think that's really important isn't it because I'm sure many of you have made lots of things that you think yeah this is fantastic and then it just hangs in your wardrobe and hardly ever gets worn and yeah I want to be able to wear these so I hope you found that useful and I hope you like the resulting dresses I'm certainly really pleased with them I was wondering if you wanted me to do a sew along for this dress and I know a few people from vlogmas when they saw the, the first dress that I made absolutely loved it and were asking me where they could get the pattern from etc and as I say I will link to that down below but if you are interested in a sew along um, it is fairly straightforward but there are lots of pieces to this dress so you know it isn't a straightforward front bodice back bodice sleeve skirt you know there's quite a lot to it because of all the different components so if you are interested in a sew along you know that will go through how you we you know what type of needle you need to use what type of stitch you, you can use for various components of constructing this pattern um, and finishing techniques etc sizing and all that kind of thing then just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to do that so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have please give me a thumbs up and um, if you haven't subscribed yet I'd really really love it if you would subscribe I am so close getting so close to 10,000 subscribers now so yeah that's it that will be amazing to reach that within the next couple of months so Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you there for now and I will be back with you really soon. Take care. Bye.